the last pillar of the Islamic faith in which every Muslim must believe is the concept of Al-Qadr, which closely translates to preordainment or predestination, divine decree, destiny, fate. When one believes in the tenet of Al-Qadr, which will translate as divine decree, he or she affirms that everything good or bad that happens in his or her life comes from God the Almighty, something he willed to happen. Al-Qadr in Arabic linguistically means to measure, to determine, to assess, to decide, to judge. In the context of religion, the term translates to divine determined measurements and substance for everyone and everything in accordance with his wisdom and power. God states in his book, Indeed, all things we created with predestination. God the Almighty, being all-knowing, and all wise is aware of what we have done in the past, what we are currently doing, and what we will do in the future, even before the time of our birth. After all, can God truly be God if he didn't know everything, including the future? Whereas mankind has the free will to make their own choices in life, everything that occurs in life occurs only with the will and power of God. Al-Qadr consists of four components. The first component is the belief that God is all knowledgeable and instigates all things and events, whether major or minor, at all times and places, and regardless of the nature of their occurrence. The Almighty's foreknowledge is infallible and complete, and with Him are the keys of the unseen. None knows them except Him, and He knows what is on the land and in the sea. Not a leaf falls but that He knows it and no grain is there within the darkness of the earth, and no moist or dry, but that is written in a clear record. The second component of divine decree is the belief that Allah has recorded everything from the beginning of time to the day of judgment, in a tablet that he has kept, known as the Loh al-Mahfud, the preserved tablet. Each individual's lifespan, amount of substance, deeds, happiness, sorrow, and more is written and recorded in this tablet. In fact, according to a narration of Prophet Muhammad, Allah has recorded the measurement of all matters pertaining to his creation 50 years before he created the heavens and the earth. Do you not know that Allah knows what is in the heavens and earth? Indeed, that is in a record. Indeed, that for Allah is easy. The third component of divine decree is the belief that nothing can occur without the will and power of Allah whether the events stem from the actions of the Almighty or actions of mankind. Nothing occurs haphazardly. Everything has been planned by the Almighty. And your Lord creates what He wills and chooses. A Muslim acknowledges that whatever has touched or afflicted him was meant to afflict him and could not have been avoided or prevented. And whatever has not touched or afflicted him was not meant to touch or afflict him and he can avoid nothing unless God has willed it. Our prophet narrated, Know if all of mankind gathered to harm you, they would not be able to harm you unless Allah had decreed. The pen has been lifted and the pages have dried. The fourth and last component of divine decree is the belief that Allah is the creator and the originator of all things, and has created each thing and determined it with precise determination. Whereas Allah has bestowed on every human being the free will to make his or her own decisions, that does not provide an excuse for one to sin or abandon the tasks and responsibilities they are obligated to do. The fact that God has predestined everything does not change the fact that human beings have the free will to choose their own course of actions. Just because each individual's choices are known to God beforehand, doesn't mean that they will not be held accountable on the day of judgment for the choices they make and the actions they take. God does not force anything upon anyone. It's also important to note that God would not hold anyone accountable for things out of their control or for things they cannot do. Allah is all just, all wise, and He tests mankind according to their strength and what their soul can bear. A Muslim acknowledges the fact that whatever difficulty they are facing will be made easy for them in the end, and that they will have a way to resolve it. God does not burden any human being with more than he is well able to bear. A Muslim acknowledges that whatever befalls him or her is in accordance with God's will and plan. 
whether they understand and accept this fact or not. A Muslim places his trust and reliance in God, as God brims with wisdom in all matters. A Muslim affirms that God is all loving and loves his servants more than one's own parents do. And a Muslim affirms that whatever God does must have a good motive. So a believer always assumes good and does not lose faith. The topic of divine decree will never fully be understood and comprehended by humans as this concept deals with the essence of God's power and will, which is beyond what our finite minds can comprehend. The Muslim benefits from the act of learning and believing in divine decree in a number of ways. Amongst the benefits of learning and believing in divine decree is the peace of mind and contentment in the heart that a Muslim attains as he or she acknowledges that nothing happens without a purpose. A Muslim is certain that whatever afflicted him could not have escaped him, and whatever missed him could not have reached him, as God is in full control of all happenings and events, and everything is predestined by him. This recognition would help a believer endure difficulties and hardships. A believer would not grieve about what could have happened if things had taken a different course, and a believer would not worry about the future because he knows the events of tomorrow are written and predetermined already. The act of learning and believing in divine decree increases one's belief in, trust of, and reliance on God, as well as increases one's probability of performing good deeds. Belief in divine decree decreases one's pride and arrogance as he acknowledges that his intelligence and actions did not emanate from him and that God is the source of all that comes his way. Belief in divine decree makes a person refrain from fearing anyone else, inspiring his bravery as he acknowledges that no one can afflict or harm him without the permission and will of God. Without a strong belief in God, the human learns life would not be worth living. Our prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.